Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode. Today we're gonna analyze again the Bitcoin price and have a look what are the next possible moves. Because as you can see, Bitcoin is still trading sideways. And when Bitcoin is trading sideways, we always form a kind of pattern. And this time, in my opinion, it is most likely this falling wedge, which is, of course, a bullish pattern. But before we're going to see a breakout here to the upside or to the downside, it's not yet confirmed if this is going to be a bullish breakout or a bearish breakout, of course. So let's see what could be here the next big move and also how you could also trade these sideways sideways moves because Bitcoin when it's going up and down here between support and resistance you can also do some very nice scalp trading so you can go long of course when we are touching the support and go short when we're touching the resistance before we're gonna see a big breakout so what we are seeing right now here in the one hour in my opinion is just a bounce from the support it is possible that we're forming this double bottom formation which will lead into a retest of this eighteen thousand eight hundred dollar area before we are breaking out to the upside but if we're gonna break out with this move here to the upside i'm not pretty convinced because usually when we have the weekend when we're trading during the weekend this price action is not really sustainable because often we see pump and dump scenarios during the weekend which always retraces back down to where we closed the cmes on Friday so when we close the traditional markets on Friday and the CMEs had a close yesterday at 18,115 so it is very likely that we're gonna just move up and down and then on Monday retrace back to this price level so now since we are here in the one hour time frame you can see that the 200 moving average is right here at eighteen thousand seven hundred dollar so i'm expecting that the price most likely is going to test here this moving average potentially even go higher to test nineteen thousand dollar if we are gearing up here for a bigger move because this is still our resistance and it is likely that we're going to test here this area between $18,700 to $19,000. But the 200 moving average here, I think it is very likely that we're going to test it. This doesn't mean that we have to break out to the upside immediately because also here in the one hour we are getting a bit exhausted here in my own indicator. We could get very soon a sell signal and also we are forming already now bearish divergence here in the one hour and we are getting into overbought condition pretty soon so i'm expecting in this area right here to have a reverse back down potentially to retest this 20 moving average here at eighteen thousand two hundred dollar if you are scalp trading then this is of course a very good opportunity to go long here and go short up here before we're gonna see a breakout because like that you can also multiply your bitcoin over on bybit or femex because if you go with leverage also with these small moves that bitcoin is doing when we're trading sideways you can also do some nice gains and now let's switch over into the four hour because this time frame is more important as you can see right now we had a successful bounce from the 200 moving average we had an initial close below the 200 moving average in the four hour but as you can see we didn't get a confirmation so that means that we closed this four hour candle below the 200 moving average but once we came up here to test it you can see that we had a close again way above the 200 moving average so this was a fake out and potentially now we are seeing a big bounce at least towards the resistance of around eighteen thousand eight hundred dollar also in my own indicator you can see that we had here a buy signal right now money flow is also coming in so we should expect here in the next couple of hours continuation to the upside and if we go over into the Bollinger Band you can see that currently although we are coming very close to the top here at 18,630 this is where potentially you could open up a short position if you think that we're gonna fall down again once we're testing this area but be very careful when you're shorting Bitcoin because we are in a confirmed bull run and you should consider to look out for good long opportunities and not short opportunities because if you're longing already now and the price is going lower you can stack up your long position and at the same time you can also buy cheap cheaper and cheaper Bitcoin that's why this it makes more sense if you look for good long opportunities if you're taking some shorts make sure to close it as soon as you have like 10 or 15 percent profits because you will not do the trade of your life shorting Bitcoin that is for sure 
and although if you have a look into the indicators you can see that everything is shifted to the upside stochastic is looking a bit toppy so here maybe we could see a top uh, pretty soon and that of course will lead into another correction potentially down towards 18,000 $200. If we would have a close below the 20 moving average in the 4 hour time frame or even worse below the 200 moving average then be prepared to see a potential dump at least towards $17,400 or even lower towards our bearish target of around $16,000 because I think with this move that we have seen right now since we had lost here this $19,000 area the correction has started and my target is to start buying in again into Bitcoin is right at 16,000 potentially down to $14,000 why those price levels we're gonna see that over in the weekly time frame later but now first let's have a look here also in the daily time frame because the daily currently is still looking a bit bearish because we are trading below the 20 daily moving average you can also see the 9 day moving average which is coming down and potentially is going to cross the 20 and this usually indicates always a potential correction and therefore we have to look at the other moving average here first the 50 right here at $16,600 this is where I'm expecting a potential bounce from it and then maybe a retest of the new resistance at around 17,400 before maybe we have a continuation down towards this area here of $15,400 which previously also acted as a resistance this trend line here and it's currently right at $15,400 so that's why I think here also we could see some potential support area and if this price level is gonna be broken then be prepared to have a full retracement back down here towards the 100 daily moving average at $14,000 which is by the way also coinciding with the 20 weekly moving average so the daily is looking a bit bearish but of course we also have some bullish signs like the RSI you can see that we had a complete cool off here down to the 50 level so in theory we should see a big bounce from it and therefore we should expect also to go above the 20 daily moving average so above 18,600 but since we are starting now to have this 20 daily as a resistance uh, we're gonna have to see probably next week where we're gonna head to next because as I told you weekend action usually is not very sustainable so even if today or tomorrow we're gonna go above the 20 daily I would better be waiting till Monday to see if this uh, breakout would be confirmed or not and also since we are now in a very critical point so if we're gonna lose here the 50 level in the RSI this could be a very great signal to see that we're gonna start here a major correction potentially down towards 16,000 dollar because here in the daily we didn't get a buy signal yet so we're still waiting here to cool off a bit more and therefore I think the correction is not over yet and since we have broken out now from this upwards trending channel to the downside I think it is uh, pretty much clear that we're gonna see this correction right now potentially to these important moving averages especially in the weekly time frame but before we have a look into the weekly we have a look also first here in the Bollinger Bands in the daily time frame because also here you can see that we're still trading on the bearish side so this area here at around 18,630 should be acting as a resistance if we have a daily close above this price level I think we could be shooting towards $20,000 pretty fast but if today or of course also in the next couple of days don't gonna see a close above this price level I think it's pretty much clear that we will see continuation to the downside and the Bollinger Band bottom here currently is right at 17,000 200 uh, stochastic is now oversold so here maybe we could see a short-lived bounce to the upside this is what we're gonna have to see it is also possible that we have this breakout from this falling wedge earlier than we thought so that we could maybe go up to 20k also create a new all-time high and then come down again to have a healthy correction that is of course also possible but as it is right now everything is still pointing out that we will see here rejection at 18,600 and we will see continuation to the downside MACD and KSD are also shifted to the downside so here I'm not expecting a big bounce at the moment here in the daily time frame and if we go over into the weekly here you can see that the correction has just started of course this uh, week that we had here to the downside was immediately bought back up very quickly and that is of course a bullish signs that means that the bulls are here and are trying to buy every dip the problem is only if they're stopping buying then we could see here a big downfall towards a nine weekly moving average right here at $16,200 
or even worse down to the 20 weekly moving average at $13,400. These are my final price targets for this correction that could happen right now. I think that it is even possible that we're gonna stay within this falling wedge till 16k and then have a big bounce to the upside. We also gonna have to update these moving averages on Monday because as soon as we have a weekly close here in the spot chart and here we are looking at the bitstamp chart these moving averages will be higher so that's why we're gonna have to update also Monday where they will be because it is also possible that the nine weekly moving average is entering here in this falling wedge and there of course we should then expect huge support and a potential bottom before we're gearing up here to break finally 20k the only thing that is still concerning me a bit is that with this correction that we had this week we didn't cool off really here my own indicator and also the rsi so here in theory we have still a lot of room left to the downside and that's why i think it is even possible that we are reaching the 20 weekly moving average before we are bottoming out because based on these two indicators we still would have a lot of room left to the downside we could even go down here to the 50 level and bounce from it so we could even go to $14,000 and still be in an uptrend so even if we would correct that much so that's about $4,000 we will still maintain our bullish momentum to the upside and our bullish chart here in the bigger time frames uh, and if we have a look into the Bollinger Bands also here you can see that we could even go down here to the midline of the Bollinger Band which is very likely to be reached sooner or later even if we don't test it right now maybe even later with the next big parabolic move maybe Bitcoin is reaching 50 60 70,000 dollar and still can come down towards the middle line of the Bollinger Band in the weekly at that time of course it will be way higher but usually Bitcoin when it has a bigger correction it always comes down here to the middle line of the Bollinger Band the question is only are you able to wait to these price levels to buy back in Bitcoin or are you going all in again here at around 16,000 everything is possible so I don't tell you to buy only here at 14,000 the best thing is always to DCA back into Bitcoin slowly once we're gonna see corrections because you will never be able to buy the absolute bottom so don't try to catch the bottom try only to DCA in when everything is falling and at the same time also DCA out a bit once everything is going parabolic and if we have a look also here in the indicators you can see that everything is shifted to the upside stochastic is still in very overbought condition so also here we still would need to cool off a bit the stochastic at least towards neutral condition before we could gear up again for a big move to the upside so i think even though this correction was expected and healthy of course that doesn't mean that it's over. I think we still have some room left to the downside. The thing is only that if FOMO is coming in again, we're just gonna blast through 20K very easily and a possible correction down to this important moving average would take way longer to happen. So let's see what these next couple of weeks will bring, especially now this month of December before the end of the year. I think we're gonna see some huge volatility coming in again. So if the price is coming down to this price level, make sure that you're able to buy as much as possible and also scale in some nice long positions because you will be very happy to do so especially for next year because bitcoin will do very big moves by next year so that's why if you can accumulate as much bitcoin as possible below 20k you will be doing very fine for the next couple of years and also if you're trading over on Bybit or Femix with the leverage of course you can also there multiply your Bitcoin with scalping a bit and if you're using my indicator over on Discord by the way if you want this uh, indicator you can contact me over on Discord you find my Discord link down below here in the video description with this indicator you can very easily with only one window scalp trade because here you have everything within one screen you have the different time frames and like this you can always see if we are in an uptrend or downtrend in the different time frames because in my own indicator you can see the one minute the one hour the three hour and the daily time frame together with the RSI my own indicator and also the EMA ribbons so if you're interested in watching this indicator live stream then contact me over on discord the link is down below here and with that said guys I'm gonna wrap it up for now now thank you very much for watching and for your great support 
works. It's also very appreciated if you can hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel, very important. I do daily TA videos and also check out all the links that you find down below here to the recommended exchanges that I'm also using to trade Bitcoin and other cryptos because with my invitation links you will get also some bonus and extra money if you sign up with my links. And if you want to enter in this uh, trading world and you don't want to trade at your own then make sure to use PrimeXPT because here you can easily top up some Bitcoin and do copy trading. So you can just follow other top traders, you can just top up some Bitcoin over there and with this co-vesting thing then you can easily just do some passive gains. Of course also here you have quite high risk because you're giving the money to someone else to trade with but if you catch the right ones you can also do some very amazing gains so thank you very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye